Okay, so this is the part of the video where I would say welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I am doing a video on the Bratz challenge that is going around where basically you have to recreate a Bratz look from head to toe, makeup, hair, and clothing. The reason I am saying this to you in voiceover instead of actually letting the clip play is because there is no sound for the first few minutes of this video. Just bear with me here. Towards the end, there will be sound, but I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing in the beginning. So here I'm just saying how I already filled in my my brows I can't do my brows how hers oh wait let me show you the actual picture of what I'll be recreating I can't do my brows as thin as hers are in the picture because you guys know my eyebrows are microbladed so I just filled my brows in and I did use concealer which I haven't been doing lately and I'm gonna use the BH take me back to Brazil palette which is looking a little rough so I'm just going in here with the lightest blue in the palette I forgot to hold the palette up to show which one I'm talking about but it's the lightest blue and then I'm gonna take the blue right next to that one and start placing that in my crease. You'll see I place everything a little bit higher just so I can look like I have a bigger lid space because we all know brat eyes are rather large. And then I am slowly going to start building up this darker blue in my outer corner. If you guys remember, this is not my first time recreating a brat's look. I've done one before, I'll have it up in the eye. Uh, I guess this time around it's a more full coverage doll-ish like look that we're going for. So I went ahead and cut my crease using this white LA Girl concealer. Now here's how dedicated I was for this look. So you can see the blue lid color that she's got there. I destroyed my eyeshadow palette looking for that color and quickly realized I did not own it. Brands put at least one blue shade in every palette they come out with but apparently it's the same blue. So if you don't have it you go ahead and you make it. So I destroyed two eyeshadows and made this one right here. Hopefully we got close to it. If not, you know it is what it is. We tried. All right, so loaded some onto the brush and let's start packing that on. I feel like I got close to the color that we need. First of all, there is fallout from that lid color all over my face. Second, it's the brats. So you already know a dramatic wing liner is necessary. It's just gonna take me 18,000 years to do. Okay, and I picked a liner that is drying out. You know when you're trying to make your wings even so you just keep making them bigger and bigger and bigger? That's what happened here. I still don't even think they're that even, but you know what, it's good enough. I haven't done winged eyeliner in months, so you know, good attempt for the first try. And again, it's the brats, so dramatic is okay. All right, for foundation, I'm gonna use the NARS Sheer Glow. This is just a sample bottle that I've got here. My full size is on the way. I know it's a doll look, so my face should be pretty mad, but trust me, it'll it'll all come together at the end. All right, let's just let's just go with it. All right, and I'm gonna use the Radiant Creamy Concealer to conceal my face day. I'm currently just letting it sit on my face. I think there's something I'm forgetting to do. And now to blend that out. All right, and to set my face, I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. A little bit of baking, a little bit of just pushing it in. Now to contour, using good old Brownie Bite from the It's My Ray Ray palette. And bronzer. All right, gonna use the Milani Translucent Powder to set the rest of my face. All right, and for blush, Going to use the same one I always use from ColourPop. Can I just say, I'm kind of glad contouring my nose is not something that I'm good at. I did do it for this video for, you know, the whole looking like Sasha purposes there, but. Right then, and now for my lips, Brett's even invented lip filler, but not seriously. Shout out to Brett's for making those who have larger lips not feel like baboons as kids. All right, Brett lips are extremely defined so we got to get this this lining just direct and I literally swatched every pink that I have trying to get the closest pink to what's on her lips this is the closest I got you let me know in the comments down below if I got it or not all right this urban decay setting spray oh this is the D slick one, the oil control one, not the all nighter. She'll know once it starts to dry, just kind of 
cut her in. Okay, and the only other thing I really did was throw on these dramatic lashes and we, oh wait, wait, no, the most important parts is actually recapturing the look in the picture. And now that is it for this video. I had fun filming this. I hope you had fun watching it. Let me know in the comments down below how you think I did with this challenge. Also, let me know if you've done this challenge. Check out the hashtag on Instagram and here on YouTube because I think it's cute. Um, Bratz recreations all year long. If anyone wants them, I'm just saying Sasha was serving looks during her time. Okay, so yep, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.